So away in the comeback 5,000 elite women's race. Big field tonight, as you can see, starting on a stagger with some of the athletes on the outside, but they will make their way onto the inside rail as they come round the first 100 metres. And already a great response from the crowd down here at Battersea for these ladies. And an absolutely huge shout out to our two pacemakers here. We've got Danny Chattington and we've got Becca Johnson, both of who stepped in last minute today at lunchtime. Becca Johnson, having worked, worked seven days on the trot at Taunton Hospital in Pediatrics, came straight here from there. So, yeah, absolutely indebted to them. Yeah, either of those ladies that want any beverage after this, come and see me. You can have my card. <laughs> Luckily, it's a joint account. Bold, bold, bold shout there. I hope my missus ain't watching the stream. <laughs> but straight away, as we can see, early doors. Just see over there on the back straight who's our early leader there. So that is Lucy Reed Lucy there. Reed. So she is flying at the moment. Had an absolutely phenomenal run on Friday. One second PB on the roads, but looked incredible at Friday night under the lights. So yeah, I, she's there. She's there. She'll stay. And a 72-73 first lap, so a little bit inside, you know, second or so, but that's nothing that they won't scoff at, you know, they can, all, they can settle that down. But a nice strong start there, and nice to see that Lucy Reed has got a little bit of company behind the two pacemakers in the form of Kay Axford from Belgrave. She's actually, interesting few facts about her, she's a former international hockey player with a bit, you know, recent runner really, getting, getting into it, and uh, she ran the second shortest uh, second fastest shortest leg at the six stage women's relay yeah. so some real talent there. yeah it's actually incredible there's actually two people who ran i think it was second and third fastest at the road relays for both ex-hockey players so maybe we should all be incorporating hockey into our cross training mode yeah i played it in school maddie and um yeah i weren't all out i'm not gonna lie no i'm not good no i weren't all out anything that in included the bat and the ball i weren't that handy up but what's amazing here is look those two have made a gap on the rest of the field and that field includes probably the favorite from today but who knows beth kidger so beth is coached by her brother joel but she we know she's on great form she ran 32 at 21 10k this year which was a 29 second pb so we know she's fit maybe she's just sitting and maybe the two have gone off too hard but yeah you can see is it her and becca murray just sitting there wait, waiting to pounce maybe yeah we've also that's right we've also got amy griffiths in there formerly known as more of a 1500 meter runner uh, had some real tough injuries over the past few years but great to see her back racing great to see her back on the track and she's stepping up tonight into the 5000 meters but yeah on beth kidger you know she's very consistent she's been consistently solid for the last couple of years as you said runs out of the her brother joel's um squad Joel's always been a real supporter for comeback, you know, even going back to the early days of when comeback was uh, was night of the 1500s. You know, we would have uh, Archie Davis coming down and pacemaking or racing. So it's great to see that those athletes return to comeback because clearly there's something about this meet that, that they love to return to. Yeah, yeah, and you can look at Lucy Reed just sticking right there on Becca Johnson's shoulder. So she knows what she wants and I think that's a fast time and the win. Yeah, I think she's, uh, she ain't got much of a poker pace. That's her tactic tonight. Get on the pacer, set out at 73, 74s and see how long I can hold on. And if anyone's going to come with me and beat me, they're going to have to run 72. So I like that tactic. Sometimes it works, sometimes it's brave. So it'll be interesting to see as they go through three laps there in 3.48 or so. So great pace in there from this race. And it's still Lucy Reed from Tom Ridge out in front. And that is one thing to say about Lucy Reed is she does know this is the fastest park in Battersea. She lives and breathes Battersea Park. She is here every Tuesday, most Saturdays, some Thursdays, probably easy runs here in between. So she has been on this track probably more than anyone else in this field. Absolutely. Further back in the field, that's 118 Emily Moyes, uh, more of a steeplechase specialist, but stepping it up to the 5K tonight. We've also got Steph Hewitt in there, number 75 from Belgrave big hotel favorite so hopefully she comes home with a nice strong pb to open up her summer season and does it sound weird to sound summer season this is the this is what we love about comeback it's the comeback of the summer this is the first race well in my opinion first notable race on the calendar for the summer season it feels strange i know it is and we are approaching half past eight and it is still light i say it was still light so we'll take that just one here that i have to mention is bethany murray he's 
who's there. Um, she's probably only for around 17 minutes tonight. She is um, a cottage contingent and also an athlete that I coach, so I've got eyes on her tonight. So, yeah, a little name drop there. We've got one of your athletes in the race, so no pressure on her, but fingers crossed she comes over and coaches Abby. And so that's it. Pacemakers are out and Lucy Reed is flying. They are slowly crawling her in, but Lucy Reed looks good. Lucy's coached by Richard Owen, who also coaches Verity, who is sitting off the back of that, the Tombridge athlete, number 77. Yeah, it's really good when you see stable mates running in the same races and, you know, I don't know whether they've spoken tactics for head of the race or whether they've just said, look, run your own race and we'll see how we end up. But that's exactly what Lucy Reed's doing tonight. Places have gone now. She's a lonely run ahead and all she sees is clear, clear tartan track in front of her and hopefully a PB waiting for her at the finish. But I think a few of this group, the four ladies behind her that are starting to bridge that gap, are going to have something to say about it. And we spoke about it earlier, that favourite, Beth Kidger, she's in there, she's looking strong. Yeah, yeah, it's a very, very strong top four. We've got Lucy Reed, we've got Kate Axford, we've got Georgie Grichek, and we've got uh, Beth Kidger right up there. Yeah, Georgie had a really strong winter uh, in some of the Surrey Leagues, in some of the national cross-country races as well. It's been a real coming of age this winter for her, and it'll be interesting to see how that translates to the track tonight. But Lucy Reed's not letting up. If anything, I thought that gap was slightly closing. But if anything, it's just uh, she's just turning the screw. But still a lot of running left in this race to be had, and still a lot of uh, still a lot of time to be had as well. And Georgie's fun one because she's actually only ever run five, one 5k on the track. She ran 15:51 at Milton Keynes last year, and she won that race. So there is something to say about being unbeaten on 5k on the track. And 158 there in the Illuminous, I'm going to call it yellow, just on the back of the front group there that Beth Kidger is in, uh, is in company of. That's, uh, that is, we've got her here, that's L Twentyman. She's running out of Taunton. She's got a qualifying performance of 1558, but it says here on her notes there, she only started taking running seriously about two years ago in 2021. She ran a 3K PB last week at 928, and she's been training with Callie Thackeray. So that is some serious company that she's got down at her training stable. And if there's anything that's, that, that Callie's got, you know, in terms of Callie's uh, credentials, hopefully that can mean that 20 women can run a PB tonight. And she's looking decent on that back straight. Yeah, I've seen that she's been running with Callie, but also a bit with Sam Harrison. So that is, that is a, a two good names to be training with. She was also out in Guernsey over Easter at the Guernsey Easter Festival, which she did actually win. But then look at Lucy Reed go here. Tell you what, Maddie, we have got a real race on our hands because if you just discard Lucy Reed a second and look further back in the field, we've got those three athletes there with Gregich and Kidger and uh, Axford from Belgrave. And obviously, Twentyman is in a bit of this and a bit of no man's land at the moment. But then further back, we've got Rebecca Murray from Bedford and County had a huge winter on the cross country this year and on the roads. She's had a real return to form. And also, Amy Griffiths there. If it comes down to a kick, if it comes down to half a lap or a lap to run got to bank your chips on Griffiths with that 1500 meter speed if I'm if I'm not mistaken and I'll have to check I'm pretty sure she's run inside 410 in her career so that is some serious closing speed in those legs yeah you're right she's a 204 409 runner at her best and do you know what it's just so nice to see her back running as you said she's had she had a difficult couple of years but she's back and she's looking great and um, yeah it's actually she's coached by Craig isn't she oh no she's Luke Gunn though I think but she um yeah, this is only her second ever 5K on the track. Love to hear that. Lucy Reed rounds the lap there. She's still out in front. Axford starting to make a bit of a charge there in front of Kidger from Belgrave with Gregich still there. These four, it's, it's, almost, it's almost like you want them to work together, but then they've got to run their own race. We just want to see the best race possible, don't we? Yeah, and this is very bold from Lucy Reed. She knows she's strong, so she is counting on the fact that she can hold that gap. Do you know what? I've got a real sense that Kate Axford is a real athlete you've got to watch for the future. She's very new to this game in terms of, well, especially with dinosaurs like me. But she's only been around for what seems five minutes. And to be able to come down to come back in the elite race and be holding second comfortably is serious, serious talking points. Yeah, it's an incredible story. So, still Lucy Reed, Axford really making the charge. She's set her stall, Axford, in second. She's basically said, look, I'm not going to settle for third. I'm not going to settle for fourth. I'm going to try and win the race. And, you know, at the end of the day, if you, if you swing for it, 
and you don't and you don't quite make it at least you gave it a go so it'd be interesting to see how that pans out as we look on the back straight it's still Reed from Axford Gregic, Gre Gregic in third with Beth Kidger our early time favourite in fourth really really being tested tonight she is the fastest in the field but tonight she's being tested and they're taking the run and taking the race to us and um, you can still see Lucy Reed's contingent Verity Hopkins there in the Tombridge vest she is another one who's recently taken up running one of those who started during 2020, 2021, and then can suddenly run very low 16 for 5k. I'm not jealous at all. So in this chase group, that's the Cambridge Harrier. That's number 43 on the back there. Also had a really good winter on the cross. That's Holly Dixon. Really sort of made a real coming of age as she stepped up to the senior ranks. As I said, runs out of Cambridge Harriers, and she's a she's a name that's always up there now. Um, and I feel that you know if she can work with that group with the athletes like with the likes of Griffiths, she could be on for a PB tonight. Just further on Holly Dixon, we just got word that she's come back from the training camp in Spain and she ran 16-16 at Friday night under the lights last week. So that's some serious running power and if you can translate to a little bit quicker on the track, she could be on for something fast tonight. She also came third recently at the uh, podium event on the go-kart track, which I know that you were commentating that road. Yeah, sorry for everyone that had to listen to that one as well, but that was, that was a carnage, that event. That was uh, obviously like nothing we've seen before, but... Unless you were there, you, I don't think you got a real grasp of how mental it was. I came to watch it, it was absolutely brilliant. I quite liked being a spectator, not a competitor. No, I can't imagine people's hamstrings felt very happy the next day. But we could talk about that all night, but we're here for the track action, and now we have a race in our hands. Lucy Reed. We also have Kate Axford and now Georgie Gregich are the three out in front, and I feel that the winner is going to come from this trio. And it has been a valiant effort from Lucy Ruto, but you can't help but feel like they're gunning her down. I feel like Lucy's gait has just started to tire slightly. It looks like she's slowing up a little bit. And what does Kate Axford do now? You know, she's new to the sport. Does she take the lead? Says, look, I've caught you. I'm going straight past. Or do you make the decision to sit and back your kick, but then give athletes behind you the opportunity to maybe catch you up? I think, I think it's all about stating your case here, you go past, but as I say that, she doesn't, she sits, and maybe she can trust her kick and maybe this is exactly where she wants to be coming into the final stages. Absolutely, a little bit tentative there, which has given Gregic the chance to close up, and you can now throw a blanket on these three, as we now have a new time leader. That is Kate Axford from Belgrave Harriers. It's been a very, very strong night for the Belgrave Club tonight, with 12 minutes 45 on the clock. Gregic makes the pass on Reed, and we've now got two South London athletes, South West London athletes, two Surrey League athletes, hit the front in one and two. It's Axford from Gregic with Lucy Reed in third, and these three are well away as we come down to the lap this time. And we will have just, I think that says three laps left on the clock. It's hard to see now in the light. Yeah, that is 800 metres to go, and Kay Axford is looking very, very strong. This is a masterclass here. So, 13.20 on the clock, Axford goes through. Gregic follows suit about 10 yards back. And it's a long run for home from Axford there, the Belgrave Harrier. But look at the gate from Gregic. She's not letting this up. This is a race. We've got a race on our hands, that's for certain. So, down the back straight for the penultimate time. It's still Axford from Gregic, from Lucy Reed. Beth Kidger back in fourth, a little bit isolated. Amy Griffiths in fifth is rallying quite well and starting to break away from Rebecca Murray and the rest of that chase group, which does include Holly Dixon from Cambridge Harriers. But back to the front of this race, we still have a 10-yard gap between Axford and Gregic. 25 yards further back is Lucy Reed, our long-time leader. They will hear the bell this time as Axford hits the home straight for the penultimate time, followed by Gregic. Axford, one of the athletes who's just found her love for running, has really made a statement on the national circuit. Now comes down to come back to try and take the title on her home track. She'll hear the bell this time. Looking a bit further back, you can see Beth Kidger is gunning down Lucy Reed, so it's going to be a battle for who takes that third place here. 
I feel like first and second is wrapped up and Axford turns the screw on Greg Itch and goes away. That gap, if anything, is starting to open up with 300 metres left to run. The Belgrave Harrier, Kate Axford, down this straight one more time. She will have 200 left to run and that's when she'll hear the crowd. She'll hear the roar of Comeback 5000, a unique atmosphere that you can only get down in the fastest park off Battersea. Axford, 200 metres left to run, but Greg Itch is not done. She rallies again and you can see that the stride opens up and the cadence increases. We've now got a race on our hands with 150 left to run. It's Kate Axford from Belgrave. Greg, Greg Itch is rallying very well for second. There's only 10 yards in it with 120 metres left to run. Axford takes a look inside her. With 100 left, she drives the arms and lifts the knees. It's Axford for Belgrave, but Greg Itch is coming. 50 metres left to run. I think that Kate Axford's going to hold on. Kay Axford for the win there for Belgrave Harriers. Watch the clock. 15.48 unofficially. She spreads her arms up in the air to celebrate. Georgie Gregich with a 15.52 for second. And look at that finish there. I told you about the closing speed of Amy Griffiths. She runs a sub-16 for 15.59. So how did that go, Kate? Um, yeah, it went well, obviously. I mean, um, I think that it's the first like 5,000 that I've done since joining like Belgrave and has been a bit of time away from the track. But um, I think that, yeah, I kind of the naivety of doing your first one probably helped me quite a bit because um, I wasn't really aware of the, the pain I was going to go into. Um, but yeah, it was just amazing, like fantastic field of some amazing runners. So it was just a privilege to be out there with them. Yeah, you say naivety, but you ran very head smart there. You sat back, you knew what you could do, and you waited for that final kick, and you, you absolutely nailed it. So what was the aim tonight? Was the aim sub-16, sub-17? I think, yeah, the aim was um, sub-16, I think. Um, I kind of had done like around 16.30 on the, on the road, so I like the track was just an opportunity to run a bit faster and, and kind of see what I could do. And you absolutely smashed it. And so, hockey player, going back to hockey, or have we, have we finally got you as a runner now? I think hockey have potentially um, given up on, on trying to bring me back. Um, but, yeah, I think it's just kind of something I really enjoy, um, and I'll hopefully be sticking around a bit longer. And what's next? What's the big race next? I actually have no idea. I'm going to consult my coach, Charlie, and we're going to see what's kind of coming next. But, yeah, exciting um, yeah, to be part of it all. Okay, well, perfect. I can hear the men's lining up. And so congratulations, and go and enjoy the win. Thank you very much.